You know, the Russian military on Monday says it has destroyed a shipment of air defense missile systems provided to Ukraine by the West. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov says the military used sea-launched caliber cruise missiles to destroy four S-300 air defense missile launchers on the southern outskirts of the city of Dnipro. The attack hit up to 25 Ukrainian troops. Konoshenkov did not mention the name of the European country which provided Ukraine with the air defense system. His claim could not be independently verified and there was no immediate comment from the Ukrainian officials. Last week, Slovakia says it had handed over its Soviet-designed S-300 air defense systems to Ukraine, which has pleaded with the West to give it more weapons, including long-range air defense systems. В воскресенье 10 апреля высокоточными ракетами морского базирования «Калибр» на южной окраине города Днепропетровск уничтожена укрытая в ангаре техника зенитно-ракетного дивизиона С-300, поставленная киевскому режиму одной из европейских стран. Поражены в том числе 4 пусковые установки С-300 и до 25 человек личного состава украинских вооруженных сил. Meanwhile, Ukraine's army on Monday says Russia may carry out provocations in Moldova's breakaway Transnistria region in order to accuse Ukraine of aggression. Speaking at a daily briefing, General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine spokesperson Alexander Sputin also says Russian forces would resume their offensive in northeastern Ukraine in the coming days. Sputin says fighting was ongoing in the eastern part of Donetsk and Luhansk regions claiming Ukrainian forces had repelled four Russian attacks over the past 24 hours. Противник продовжує створення наступального групування військ для дій на Слобожанському напрямку. Ймовірно, найближчими днями окупанти намагатимуться відновити наступ. Окрім того, ворог продовжує здійснювати підготовку та відправку особового складу, озброєння та техніки для участі в бойових діях на території України. Здійснюється підготовка озброєння та військової техніки у пункті постійної дислокації 60-ї окремої мотострілецької бригади Монастирище 5-ї загальновійськової армії Східного військового округу. Ймовірно, зазначене озброєння буде переміщено на тимчасово окуповану територію Донецької області. And specially designated Ukrainian war crimes prosecutors and forensic experts have exhumed another nine bodies from the mass grave uncovered on local church grounds, taking a total to 30 people hurriedly buried by retreating Russian forces in Bucha. Walking through Bucha, a reporter encountered two dozen witnesses of the Russian occupation. Almost everyone say they saw a body, sometimes several more. Civilians were killed, mostly men, sometimes picked off at random. Many, including the elderly, say they themselves were threatened. The question that survivors, investigators, and the world would like to answer is why. Some believe the house-to-house -house targeting of younger men was a hunt for those who had fought the Russians in recent years in separatist-held eastern Ukraine and had been given shelter in the town. Now that the Russians have left, bodies are being collected by searchers, wary of booby traps and mines. According to Bucha Mayor Anatoly Fedoruk, the latest count of dead civilians is 320. Most died from gunshots, and some corpses with their hands tied were dumped like firewood into mass graves. <laughs> 